Yeah, so I'm, I was actually just about to go upstairs and start reading out the rules for um, the Spence and Gable uh, Tannenberg game. But part, part of, uh, you know, the past few days and whatnot have, uh, well, a bit more thinking about it. I mean, I'm always thinking about it, in, you know, to a little bit is the grand campaign and how I'm going to go about it. Um, yeah, this thing here. Uh, the reason why I'm just leaving the plastic on here, well, obviously I'm not doing anything with the game right now. And I also wanted to show you guys that a few weeks ago, Puss actually walked across this. I, uh, I left it on the floor stupidly in this orientation. And of course he was like, whoa, what is this? And remember, he's only got three legs. So, <clears throat> excuse me, his weight distribution is a bit different than a four-legged cat. And it took it, man. I'm, he's not a kitten either, so I'm, I'm impressed. Um, what I've been trying to do often, and I... Like, I don't want to give up these characters as well. It's like, oh, this sucks. Um, and I've been trying to figure out, okay, you know, okay, record everything. So just in case someday you can do it later. And, I've, you know, I've moaned a bit about sometimes I wish I could have incorporated more of the other fronts if I had known what was going to happen. But then I also have to know that, um, yeah, this is what I'm talking about, the grand campaign. I think I'm starting to figure out how I'm going to go about it anyways. Um, and it's due to, well, we'll pop on over in a minute there. Um, it's also like I've mentioned about, uh, you know, the scope and the, it's just so massive and trying to figure out ways around this of still being able to get some amazing narrative. Also the massive amount of problem solving when it gets down to the logistics and moving around, you know, massive amount of, uh, forces and their supply and dealing with the terrain and rail capacity and, Oh, I mean, that is, you know, the bread and butter for so much of it. Um, but then it's, you know, for the amount of the game, for the amount of the war, it, it'll destroy the narrative for me. So it's like, you know, how can I do the the best of both? And I think I've mentioned um, try to abstract as much as I can some things and then, um, you know, be specific on this. So what I'm going to try to do see what my notes say and then we're going to go off to uh, what kind of helped it out here yeah so I said what about uh, attempting to simulate the other fronts up to the end of November 1914 and then begin the grand came grand campaign from that point on um, so I'm thinking about doing that and I th uh, I think it'll also help me test certain abstraction things and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out and that's pretty simple at the very beginning because that's, well, simple. I mean, the Western Front's going to be massive. But it's, you know, up to that point, really, let's be honest, it's just the Western Front, Serbia, you know, and there's uh, the Ottomans are going to kick in pretty darn quick. But, you know, what I'm saying is it's not like it's, you got to be dealing with a full on. And I thought maybe this could also help me incrementally, and I'll be doing this later on if it starts to work, um, incorporate more of the grand campaign rules so I don't have to try to digest them all at once and I don't have to incorporate them all at once is what I, I'm trying to think of and what else did I write down here uh, perhaps this way I can keep the narrative going and expand when I like but at least begin to incorporate wider aspects of the war and add as uh, much camp complexity as I wish over time rather than trying to digest all the rules and incorporate all the rules as well uh yeah I think this is I like I said I don't I don't have the specifics in my head yet but I think this is the road I'm going to go um I'm going to show you you know yet again what has been um you know it's been like I think I've mentioned um I'm always thinking about the grand campaign but lately it's been more and more so and um, especially after the fact that it was like, I just kind of was like, yeah, I know what the issue is. It's like me in a sense. And it's not like, don't try to whatever. You have to adapt me. I have to adapt myself to, a, to the rule system and then take what I need from, <clears throat> from there. Anyways, I was looking at, and this is one thing I want to do later on uh, when I finish this part of the mini game, is I want to use this Atlas uh, over time, like step by step, because it's pretty, it's not, it's not too bad. Uh, like it'll show you like little bits. I can go to other places. I don't want to get into crazy detail, but I'd like to, since I also have my videos and all my notes, I can start looking and say, okay, 
what was it like, you know, in my game versus here? And I can start seeing it's not like in some ways there's not that much. Uh, anyways, we'll go out. That's another video and it lets way off into Wonderland. So like I said, I've, you know, popped in the initial armies the way they were. And I was trying to figure out, okay, what did Dave Schroeder look at? Did he look at army uh, maps and maybe that got his head into looking at divisions and whatnot? And like I said, I've been trying to read a lot about or go over um, Alberto's ideas. Um, <clears throat> for me, the way I look at, uh, like Alberto's got so much meat in his ideas and I'm so far behind. Like, uh, I would say, you know what I mean? Like my ideas are just starting to form or whatever or trying to whatever. And he's already from what I can see anyways, and from what I've been reading when he's, you know, okay, this is how I'm going to convert, you know, strength points into force points and in other things as well. So he can now start viewing things as um, uh, this, I don't know, macro uh, logistical way of looking at it, like a, a metadata. Or, it's just really, it, it's, anyways, he's way far ahead of me to understand the complexity of where he's gone to, to simplify, if that makes any sense. So, so uh, but anyways, it's, so I'm trying to figure, yeah, I'm just trying to see what works and what doesn't work and whatever. But anyways, I think, yeah, I think I've, um, this is where I'm going to go. Um, so what I'm trying to figure out now is how can I simulate the Western Front up to this point in my game, as well as uh, what's going on in Serbia, if I can pull that off to it and tie it into my narrative into the end of the mini game, then maybe I'll just keep on playing this part uh, at, at the micro level as long as I want, um, like this Eastern Front bit, and I'll just expand any parts that I want when I want. So I'll still get the grand campaign, just not exactly... Okay, day one, you're doing the full on and you're going on and on and on. Yeah, I, I'm, like I said, I'm getting, I'm trying to figure out my way and the best uh, way of incorporating everything. And I think this would be, this way is a kind of a, a win, win, win. I still keep, I get to keep all my characters, um, which is going to be some massive re repercussions if the Eastern, you know, if everything goes, falls apart, which means now I don't have to worry about like the tide is turning right now so what does this mean if i continue on with this stuff with the narrative and figure out some way of simulating what's going on because i'm not doing the western front or serbia i'm just going to put them down like force marker wise or whatever and figure out like grand Str whatever maybe i'll even uh it'll be like a solo internet interactive thing i'll uh let um you know participants uh, like viewers say okay you know what this is what we should do uh, based on the whatever. We don't have to go buy um, the book anymore, as you can say. Uh, I wasn't going to go buy the book anyways when I did the grand campaign. I was just going to set things up. And if you think I was going to, you know, doesn't mean you have to do the Schlieffen plan uh, when you do the grand campaign. I mean, even Dave Schroeder mentions that. It doesn't mean you, I'm going to start going berserk, but why not, uh, you know, it's, I mean, if it's, it's already gone, whatever. So anyways, I'm happy with this. And we'll see what you guys think too, but hopefully you'll be... Uh, would like to help out. That'd be really nice. Okay, see ya.